I've just been told to remind you that all winners are asked to go into the press room and line up in alphabetical order from left to right to have their pictures taken for the British newspapers. <laughs> and then line up right to left for the Israeli papers. <laughs> Our next award is for editing, and it'll be presented by two stars who never fail to give winning performances, Miss Lee Remick, who is a beautiful girl, and Mr. Jane Stewart on loan out from the Air Force. an exciting night, isn't it, Jimmy? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, uh, well, now, now let's see, Lee, we're, su we're supposed to do something here. Yes, we're to honor those artists who, after the writer is written and the director directed and the actor has acted, controls the final destiny of our work. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Jimmy, where are you going? I'm not going to give any award to any movie critic. <laughs> <laughs> this Oscar goes to the film editors. Oh, oh. Oh, film editors. Well, if we didn't have editors, we wouldn't have any movies. Oh, film editors. Well, for the, for the best achievement in film editing, the nominees are William B. Murphy for Fantastic Voyage. Frederick Steinkamp, Henry Berman, Stuart Linder, and Frank Santillo for Grand Prix. Hal Ashbury and J. Terry Williams for The Russians Are Coming, The Russians Are Coming. William Reynolds for The Sand Pebbles. And Sam Osteen for Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. Now, uh, I'll open this thing, Lee, and then you, uh, you take it and, and read the winner. All right, the winners are Frederick Steinkamp, Henry Berman, Stuart Linder, and Frank Santillo for Grand Prix. <laughs> We'd like to thank you, the members of the Academy, the very talented technical people at MGM, and the greatest film editing staff ever assembled. Thank you. Thank you.